Welcome back to The Morning Show here on Arise News with me, Katira King. If, like me, you love to cook, but hate the preparation process of chopping essential spices into fine pieces for the perfect infusion, then you're in luck, because Bolane Akinyami, the CEO of Easy Cooks, has got us covered. Just like us, Bolane realized she could do without that process, which led her to launch her line of products to bridge the gap that Nigerian women have needed filled for so very long. Today, her line of products include chopped garlic, ginger and scotch bonnet paste, as well as ginger and garlic paste and flavoured oils that you can see on screen now. How tasty is that? And we've got some in studio on my set. I am so enamoured by what I see in front of me, Bolane. How are thank you, you this morning? I'm very well, thank you. This is amazing to see because I am obsessed with cooking and eating. I might not look like it, but I eat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just so great and convenient when you see spices like this that we use. This, this is like our holy trinity absolutely. of African, particularly Nigerian Abs absolutely. food. Absolutely, absolutely. What inspired you to get on this journey? For well, starters, I like to cook. <laughs> And evidently, I like food. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I, I used to live in the UK, and I realized that everything I used to use in cooking was readily available. I could buy a portion of a, a pot of food, I, I mean, just going into the supermarket. Uh, and then when I relocated, yeah, I had helps. I had, you know, the cook who'd, you know, cut all those things up for me. But it wasn't the same. It took out the fun of the joy of cooking. Of course. You know, when you're cooking, you want to be the one to put everything together. Yes. And then, you know, and also in our market here, if you're buying, you can't buy just a bit. You always have to buy a lot, a lot more than you need. And then I thought, we have these things here. When I got back, I used to bring them in. I mean, I used to import them. Right. You know, but I then ran out of them very quickly. And nobody would ever bring them in for you because one, they're glass, <laughs> two, they would, oh, it's going to spill into my luggage, it's going to smell in my of luggage. Of course. And then, you know, just one evening, I bought some peppers and I chopped them, but then I realized that they were too much. Right. And then I was thinking, okay, what am I going to do with it? What am I going to do with what's, I mean, what's left? And I thought, oh, okay, bring, bring one of the jars of the old ones I mm -hmm. had and then just put them in there. And then we did. And then, you know, we just looked at it and I come to think of it, why can't we do this here? And that was how it was born. That's how, that that's how it started. And then, you know, we started off with, um, you know, plastic packs. But then I just wasn't satisfied because I just wanted something that, you know, it could stand side by side by yes, what... Yes, with its counterparts you know, globally. Yeah. And then I thought, OK, look, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go all the way. I'm going to get my jars. I'm going to put them in glasses. I wow. want not so much. I don't want it to be a premium product. However, I want it to look nice so that, you know, if, I, if, if they're too standing and then a white man comes and says, OK, well, I can, why can't I buy this? It looks just the same as uh -huh, what I used to get. Uh -huh. That's how it started. You know, it's so interesting that you mentioned that because I've seen this in the supermarket and the first time I saw this brand, I thought to myself, it reminded me of one that I pick up in Waitrose in the UK. The exact, well, not the exact, Absolutely. but almost, it's so similar yeah. packaging-wise. And I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know we had this here. I thought it was actually that same brand from England. No. And it's very interesting to hear how you started because actually I'm obsessed with chili. I yeah. eat pepper with everything. Everything. I would probably put it in my ice cream if I could. <laughs> so I have started blending up my scotch bonnets and preserving them with vinegar in the yeah. fridge because you just, ugh, am I going to chop every single time? Yeah. So I would totally understand that. Now, what I hear is that you also got inspired to, to venture out into this journey because you were losing weight. Yeah. Because I, I wanted stir fries. I, did, I didn't want to do the full cooking. I didn't want to do the full, you know, um, so I, I wanted quick meals. Now, these are just the basic spices that most people would use. Mm -hmm. You would use garlic, you would use ginger, just to flavor your food. And now I find out that I'm actually doing away with our regular curries, really? you know, times. I'm, most times I'm making a, a stir fry of chicken and cabbage. I'm, and all I'm because putting you just, is just... you made it so easy. Yeah, literally. all I'm just putting <laughs> is ginger and garlic in it just to start it. And then wow. the scotch bunny for flavor. For, for how, long have you been, how long have you been uh, on this journey? Um, we started off in 2014. But then when we started, we just did, we did a trial, right. you know, selling to my friends, to, you know, colleagues at the time, and um, just to test the market and just mm -hmm. to see acceptance, what they think about it, because, you know, it was, I, I thought that that was a new thing coming into the market. Most times, people would rather just go to the markets and then buy their, everything that they need and then want to prepare themselves. So giving it to them in a form that has, you know, we've taken a part of it out. I started off with plastic packs, not even these plastic packs, our regular plastic packs <laughs> that you would get here. <laughs> 
But I, it would always spill, you know. It of would, course. It would leak. It would. So it was just a, it was a gradual process from the plastic packs. Then we moved on to the bottles, and then from the bottles, where you know, just just something that everybody would accept. And yeah. you know, a lot of people want to make all these fancy meals that we see these days. But you know. And when you watch them on all the food channels, you can see that they you know, start out with, 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 with this. <laughs> exactly. So that was that was it. So in terms of the response from Nigerians, because we're quite a funny people, aren't yeah. we? We're, we sort of we don't take a while to change. And I've then had somebody say to me ten that. years later, we're like, ah, oh, we're all. <laughs> I've had somebody to me say say to me that. Hey, why would I buy this? That for was this going amount to be my question. When I can buy a basket of this for exactly, you know. So, I, and I the think... thing is, if we actually dissect that, the price point is similar to what you would get for a basket at the market. So, what have you gotten from Nigerians in terms of response about that? Um, you know, in any business, really, I, th I think you should always start with your friends and family because that was what, that's what would encourage you to keep going. Because if you just branch out. I, I can promise you that you're going to. Be, I mean, you're going to be discouraged from the very beginning. <laughs> so friends and family, you know, you'd you'd sell to them. You'd hear the comments, and then you know, friends would then use it and then sell to other friends, and you know, it just you know it just keeps going step by step. Yeah, the response. It, it, the response is picking up because we're mm. having a lot of chefs now. People are wanting to be like them. People are yeah. wanting to you know replicate what the chefs do. So and this helps because you know I've kind of cut off. A bit of the processing for them. Of course, they're, ready, they're just readily available because a chef has to cut them. So that you know, you don't have to think, I'm, oh, I'm cutting garlic so tiny. You know, that has already been done for you. So and you know, at the end of the day, time is money, isn't it? So yeah, if you're saving us time, me, we will spend the money. I was, sometimes I tell people that it's not so much the product I'm selling. I'm actually selling the convenience Absolutely. of it. The time, the time you're going to save, and your that fingers. I will buy into exactly. as a consumer. So it's just it's more the convenience of using it than. So much the product. Absolutely. And in terms of starting out, because you actually have a, a background in something completely different to food. Yes, I'm an so, accountant. <laughs> in terms of starting out, what was that like for you, capital-wise, to leave a comfortable job where you are guaranteed your paycheck at the end of every month to become an entrepreneur in something as, well, it's consistent, the food industry is consistent, yeah. but something quite new to the food industry? Um, I, I think... Beyond the business side of it, I think it's more a passion. So um, at the time I was working, you know, it was like taking every little amount of money I could spare the time to do this. When I started off, I started off with home equipment, I, my kitchen equipment. I didn't, I didn't go for the, you know, industrial yeah. uh, machines. It was more like I was working from my kitchen, you know, and, well, bless my husband for letting me, <laughs> for letting me use his kitchen, you know, the way I did. So I'm, Wait a minute, know, what do you mean his kitchen? Our kitchen. <laughs> I'm starting to suspect you. Are you really a good, as good a cook as you say? You call the kitchen his kitchen. Where is his house? You know, he'd come one day. I mean, because making garlic, I can tell you, is... It's a stinky process. <laughs> you don't want to... The whole house is smelling. The whole house. So you can imagine coming into the house and then you're smelling garlic. And it's then you're garlic thinking, and no food. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, I mean, I must say thank him. I thank Aww. him for it, but... I mean, it, at the beginning, it was just scrimping from every salary I got, every, every bonus I got, I'd just take a bit out of it. And then family were fantastic. My, my siblings were, you know, they would, they would speak with me, they would help me bring things back. You know, even if it's just 50 jars, they would just put it in their luggage and bring back. So, you know, it was just, it was a gradual process to when I could, you know, I can sit back now and so the business would finance itself. I want to buy jars and I'm... I can just write a check from my yeah. from the business account and pay for it, and you know. Gosh, there must be no sweeter feeling. Mm. The feeling of success. So the f the nicest feeling is paying somebody's salary at the end of the oh, month. Oh, it's wow. fantastic! It's fantastic. Wow. You know that you can pay from the account. I'm not having to bring money out of my personal yeah. account. I can pay from that business. Somebody's salary is going to go home and then feel that okay, I've earned something from. Oh, oh that's fantastic! <laughs> fantastic. So, what is the aim of Easy Cooks? What do you hope to achieve? Well, I, I want to get more people cooking um, because, you know, you still have the odd people saying that um, oh, I'd, I'd rather buy my food, but I want to get people cooking. So I'm, I, I'm not just going to stop here. I'm going to bring more things into the market. I'm going to bring more ready to use, you know, different things that you don't have. There's even no form of preparation. All you're just going to do is heat it up. But then it's going to be as 
organic or as healthy as possible. So, you know, watch the space. That's I what I'd love say. that. What would you say the biggest takeaways have been for you from becoming a food entrepreneur? I've become very patient. <laughs> Extremely patient. <laughs> Can you give you know? me some of that, please? Because I am the <laughs> least patient person in the world. <laughs> I've become very patient. You know, there are times where, you know, uh, I mean, I'm sending things out and then I'm waiting for a response. Okay. <laughs> when is it going to come? When is it going to come? So, patience, yes, I've taken that away. Yeah. Um, it, also, you know, I'm a bit more, you know, I give up very easily. <laughs> <laughs> this one, you know, I think I've put in too much time and I'm like, okay. Yeah. Yes, I might not sell anything for maybe a month and then, but I'm still not going to give up. I'm just going to, you know, just wait. And then, you know, bless God. He just, bless, you know, he just sends something would just happen that would, you know, just, okay, don't, yeah, no, it's not time to give up. You're just going to keep at it because something little, even if it's just a little sale or somebody just calls in and says, oh, deliver this to me. And they, ah, okay, that's the reason why I haven't <laughs> given up. So, yes. What would you say the hardest part about your job is or has been over the few years? Convincing people, um, especially people that, are, that their minds are made up. But um, <laughs> because it's something I enjoy, because it's something I'm passionate about, you know, it's something I can talk about forever until, you know, I then break that person down. But <laughs> yeah. This sounds so scary. Are we still talking about food? I'm terrified. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, it's marvellous. And Thank I can you. imagine that the response, that the increased response that you're getting is yeah. also sort of motivating you yeah. to continue yeah. along this. Because, I mean, sometimes I just might put a push stop and then I just get people, you know, adding, not even something somebody else has done. It might be just me putting up a picture of maybe a meal I've prepared. Yeah. And then, you know, you get so many um, ads. Instagram has been fantastic. I can imagine. You know, so, so many people add me and then, out of those 10 people that might add me, another two might say, oh, look, I want something because I want to do what you've done. So deliver this to me. So, yeah. you know, that, that kind of is a bit encouraging. It's, you know, you just wonder that, okay, look, there's something, I'm doing something good here. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. If you were to tell my viewers one thing about your products, what would that be and why? It, it makes cooking easy. That's all I can say. I mean, you're going to, you're going to, I mean, there's no meal. I don't make anything now without having, at the very least, garlic in it, even mm. my eggs. So if you can have even a, a very a good old Indomie, yes. why, do you want to, why do you want to make it without, in fact, dump their, I'm sorry, Indomie, but dump their, dump their the spices, spices and, those, and, and you're you know, after my own heart. Girl, <laughs> we should them in this, so, You know, <laughs> it's, it's, um, I love it. Amazing. And can we expect some pre-made banga paste, F4 Miro paste? Well, on the way there, somebody, somebody in the UK actually got in touch with me and then she says, okay, no, I don't want garlic. Yes, my, this garlic is nice because this is our local garlic. I don't use, and I start, actually started off with the imported ones, but I mean, I realized that ours here, yes, they're a bit more tedious to work mm -hmm. with, but you know, they actually have packed more flavor than- Far more flavor than the imported Even ones. Even our onions. Yes. And then somebody in UK said, okay, yes, Garlic is fine, ginger is fine, but give me our bag. Can't you have a ready to use banga <laughs> soup? A ready to use no, but jollof it rice makes mix. total sense because you, you know, go to the supermarket and you buy pre made green curry yeah, paste, Thai green yeah. curry paste, or red curry paste. So why can't we go to the supermarket and find I'm actually -made working banga with um, somebody I met on Instagram. Oh God, I bless them. <laughs> Honestly, I met somebody there and we're actually working together, you know, to, you know, at least. She's going to be my, my guinea pig, really. We're supposed to just go through all this stuff I, I, together. I'm, no, I'm firing her for you. I'm going to be your guinea pig. Any food that you make that you want to taste test her, I'm here for you. I'm here for you, honey. Thank you. <laughs> that so, is amazing. Um, so for those of my viewers that are just waiting for you to deliver your social media handle so that they can purchase some products, what, how can we reach you? We're on Instagram at Easy Cooks. Or we're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter at Easy Cooks. Um, our website works, our emails work. Um, website is www.easycooks.com. Um, our emails are info at easycooks.com. And um, we're at um, a couple of supermarkets, um, about um, nine or 10 of them in Lagos. The mainland. major supermarkets. Yes. Well, not at the major ones. We're still haggling right now. But I mean, a, couple, a few that people know were Amazing. At, on the island and on the mainland. Um, and orders can be accepted anyway. <laughs> we, <laughs> will deliver, we will also anytime. deliver to you. 
fantastic um, yeah. stuff. Thank you so much for joining me, Thank Bolani. you very much I'm for looking me. forward to speaking with you later on in the show because we're discussing something that you will be quite accustomed to. Okay. Spices. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that is all from the spicy Bolan layers. It's time now for a short break on the morning show. Don't flick over though, because when we return, I'll be speaking with a juicy diva. Intrigued? So am I. Don't go away.